We were looking to add a little bit of life to the interior walls of the third floor of the design and engineering building. We had these two massive white walls that just screamed for some type of artwork. Matt came to me and they said that they, uh, they had just developed a new design engineering floor. A lot of room for some artwork. They wanted me to come take a look at it and talk about some options and we went from there. Douglas and I have been friends for a long time and I've always you know, wanted to take an opportunity to put his work in our, our office. I met with our president and CEO, Sean Jenkins. I brought to the table and I said, I have a, a good friend that does you know, large scale murals um, using spray paint and you know, Sean and, and team are all about it. From there, we had a, a conversation with, with Douglas and brought him on site. When I first met with Sean and Matt, they were both really excited about the project. They had a lot of great creative ideas. It was just a creative meeting of the minds. Hi, brother. All right. Much respect to you. Thank you. You're going to do excited. great. Appreciate it. I began spray painting when I was younger because uh, I got into graffiti, and then I saw people kind of taking it to the next level and doing really intricate designs with spray paint and it just seemed like a really difficult thing and I didn't understand how they were doing it. I was just determined to get good at it myself. You're doing a painting and you're breaking it down from an actual photograph you're looking at and sometimes it's just coming right out of your head. And they're both challenging in different ways. I mean, both can be technical. It's hard for me to take an image and kind of reproduce it on a large scale with spray paint which is kind of working against me because it's hard to get fine details with it. It can be technically really frustrating, really challenging, but I always muscle through it in the end, it's, it comes out. I pretty much mess up a million times before I get it right, and I'll have to do something that looks horrible to go back and clean up to get right. So if I want to get a clean line, I have to make a huge ugly line and go carve it down with a clean line because I'm not going to hold up a stencil or like some kind of guard out of cardboard or paper, you know, because I want it to be difficult and kind of what excites me is the whole the whole chess match is a thing. If I want to paint a certain thing, I have to think 10 moves ahead to how I'm going to get that image with spray paint. You know, working with Benefit Focus is just a unique opportunity for me to come in and uh, develop my artwork in a corporate setting. It's really exciting. Not everything I do is for an office building where engineers are looking at all day, you know, most of the time it's a restaurant or a bar or, you know, something more public. This was a really specific audience, so, you know, presented different challenges. The underlying concept or meaning of the mural is this idea of one invention or one thought that leads to something great. So in this case we use the um, literal re representation of Thomas Edison and his invention of the light bulb how that led to modern day Times Square. And in our case, you know, the invention of enrollment has led to benefit focus as we know it. It really comes back to this vibe, this vibe that we've created with the design and engineering building it really adds to collaborative, very fun, cool place to come to work. It kind of blends the, the lines between your work life and your home life and really makes that work environment you know, easy to come to, easy to, to want to stay at. The ultimate goal for this project was to design something I'm proud of, not only, but also inspire the employees of Benefit Focus who have to look at it every day. Ultimately, like seeing that painting on the wall and, and seeing someone that good at their craft makes you want to be better at yours.